Prime Minister Narendra Modi is holding a road show in Maharashtra. Let's go live across. These are visuals coming in from Nashik in Maharashtra. Prime Minister waving at a very enthusiastic crowd there. The Prime Minister being showered with flowers and rose petals, of course. Also, scores of people have lined up to receive uh, the Prime Minister. He's uh, accompanied by the Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde. Remember, the Prime Minister, of course, will be unveiling the Atal Setu Bridge today. आप देख सकते हैं किस तरीके से जो पुष्प वर्षा है उसके जरिए और साथ ही प्रधानमंत्री के साथ महाराष्ट्र के मुख्यमंत्री भी यहां नजर आए हाथ हिलाकर प्रधानमंत्री ने जो लोग पहुंचे थे साथ के दोनों छोर पर उनका अभिवादन भी किया आज महाराष्ट्र दौरे पर हैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की अगर बात की जाए तो यहाँ आज की राष्ट्रीय युवा दिवस की और इस पर वो महोत्सव का उद्घाटन करेंगे लेकिन उससे पहले ये रोड शो की तस्वीरें आप देख सकते हैं एक अलग ही हर्षोल्लास यहाँ नजर आया रोड शो के दौरान लगातार जो लोग थे वो हाथ लाकर प्रधानमंत्री का उन्होंने स्वागत किया उनके एक झलक पाने के लिए किताब नजर आए और जैसे जैसे प्रधानमंत्री का काफिला आके बढ़ रहा था आप देख सकते हैं इन तस्वीरों में भी लोग लगातार प्रधानमंत्री मोदी तो आगे की तरफ शोक के साथ बढ़ते हुए नजर आए लाल नासिक पहुंचे हैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी और ये इस वक्त की तस्वीरें रोड शो के दौरान जो लोगों का हजूम है वो यहाँ पर उमड़ता हुआ नजर आया प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी को देखने के लिए प्रधानमंत्री महाराष्ट्र में करीब तीस हजार पांच सौ करोड़ रुपए से अधिक की लागत की कई विकास परियोजनाओं का आज उद्घाटन करेंगे राष्ट्र को समर्पित करेंगे और इनकी आधारशिला रखेंगे और इससे पहले नासिक में सत्ताईसवें राष्ट्रीय युवा महोत्सव का उद्घाटन करेंगे और काफी संख्या में जो युवा है वो यहाँ देखे जा सकते हैं सड़क के अगर दोनों छोर की अगर बात की जाए किस तरीके से प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी के स्वागत के लिए वो वहां पहुंचे साथ ही प्रधानमंत्री भी यहाँ आप देख सकते हैं इन तस्वीरों में हाथ हिलाकर प्रधानमंत्री ने इन सभी का अभिवादन स्वीकार किया जो कि एक झलक देखना चाहते थे प्रधानमंत्री की पुष्प जोर शोर से और धूमधाम से इन तस्वीरों में आप देख सकते हैं नेता और विश्व के सबसे लोकप्रिय नेता प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी नासिक पहुंचे और रोड शो के दौरान ये तस्वीरें खुद ही हकीकत बयां कर रही हैं किस तरीके से नई ऊर्जा का संचार करते हैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जहां भी पहुंचते हैं और उत्साह यहां सीधे तौर पर देखा गया जो लोग प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी को देखने पहुंचे थे उनका स्वागत करने पहुंचे थे सड़क एक छोर पर आप देख सकते हैं किस तरीके से काफी संख्या में जो लोग हैं वो मौजूद यहाँ नजर आ रहे हैं आज के कार्यक्रम की अगर बात की जाए तो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी करीब बत्तीस हजार पांच सौ करोड़ रुपए से अधिक लागत की कई विकास परियोजनाओं का उद्घाटन करेंगे उन्हें राष्ट्र को समर्पित करेंगे उसकी आधारशिला रखेंगे इसमें खासतौर से जो काफी अहम है वो है अटल सेतु जो भारत का सबसे लंबा पुल है नासिक की तस्वीरें हम देख सकते हैं किस तरीके से गोल नगाड़ों की आवाज के बीच 
जो है वो यहाँ सुनी जा सकती है इस तरीके से उत्साह का माहौल उत्सव का माहौल प्रधानमंत्री की एक झलक लाने के लिए और सभी का अभिवादन Vrishali Kadam is joining us for more details on this story Vrishali the prime minister arriving there in Maharashtra he is currently uh, taking part in a road show in Nashik Yes certainly at uh, 10:30 prime minister Narendra Modi reached at the uh, uh, Nashik uh, and uh, he will be uh, you know uh, 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 he will be doing some uh, uh, programs over there which include the road show as well uh, if you see uh, 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 this charter on which uh, prime minister narendra modi is uh, you know addressing to the people at this point of time on the on the streets of nashik this uh, particular charter has been ordered from uh, gujarat and uh, it, it's a orange color uh, uh, charter this is the uh, uh, charter which is uh, particularly came from the gandhi uh, nagar and uh, uh, now prime minister narendra modi is going to you know address people Uh, uh 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 and we can see that how people uh, from nashik have welcomed prime minister narendra modi uh by offering him uh, flowers and uh, there's a huge crowd on the both the side of this charter uh, which is now uh, like uh, heading uh, for the uh, uh at at nashik and uh, you can see over here that uh, pm ekna shinde deputy chief minister devendra patnavis uh are there uh, in the charter itself and uh, 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 what we are learning is almost 30000 crores uh, different different projects uh, are there in nashik uh, 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 prime minister narendra modi is going to inaugurate uh, uh, these uh, 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 different different uh, programs which is uh, almost 30000 crores uh, different different projects are there so post this he will head uh, Uh, for mumbai at the shivri where uh, he is going to inaugurate the atal setu the longest um, uh, uh, sea route uh, of uh, a sea bridge of important uh, today tour is from nashik to mumbai and from mumbai to navi mumbai at navi mumbai uh, at the airport ground he is going to address to the nation uh, to express his uh, feelings uh and this is uh, very remarkable because uh, atal setu is something that you know uh, very close uh, uh, to the uh, um, uh, people of mumbai because we have been like waiting for a long time uh, uh, and after uh, um, uh, many decades finally uh, this is taking shape and this is uh, going to be inaugurated today so it's a big day uh, for mumbai as well as for maharashtra absolutely it's certainly a big uh, big day for uh, Uh, Maharashtra and also, of course, for infrastructure in the country because uh, you know this is a, a, a you know this is a sea bridge, of course, that has been built uh, uh, at a whopping cost, but also at, of course, uh, it's it's taken uh, many many years of perseverance for this to finally this day to finally uh, come to light from recce to, of course, acquiring the you know the area to, of course, finally building this uh, mammoth project, Vishali. uh absolutely uh, you know many governments came and gone and every time they promised that you know uh, there will be the big uh, uh, bridge which will connect the south mumbai to the new mumbai navi mumbai uh, what we popularly say uh, and uh, you know but you know uh, this particular gap from south mumbai to navi mumbai um, uh, it was a huge task and uh, people over here waited for decades actually Uh, uh you know to you know um, actually ha- see it happening uh, this particular bridge uh, but finally it has taken shape 21 kilometers the road it is and this is going to save time of mumbai uh, and uh, uh, from south mumbai to navi mumbai it will take just 20 minutes which is like a dream uh, uh, for any mumbai car to travel uh, so certainly this is this bridge is uh, you know going to eco- boost the economy it's very important uh, uday there is a update that you know uh, as uh, prime minister narendra modi is uh, like uh, 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 addressing people uh, thanking people uh, on this particular charter he is going to uh, uh, visit at the kalara mandir temple also the popular uh, ram mandir temple of maharashtra known as the kalara mandir so prime minister narendra modi is going to offer uh, flowers and uh, uh, he will take the blessings from the ram 
uh, from Maharashtra, uh, the Kalaram Mandir. He will, uh, in, a, in a short while, he is going to uh, reach at the Kalaram Mandir and then he will uh, 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 head for the, for the uh, 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 putting foundation stores of a different, different project worth cost almost 30,000 uh, crores. Sumit Peer, political analyst, also is joining us now on the broadcast. Sumit, uh, the Prime Minister in Maharashtra today, a big roadshow, of course. Uh, Prime Minister is partaking in before he unveils that Atal Setu bridge uh, later this morning. It's a, a big moment, of course, for Maharashtra, for the country. And before that, the Prime Minister, of course, being greeted by a sea of people who've lined up to see him. Uh you see, Udai Prime Minister has started a very important, uh, you know, on a start from today and it's 11, temp uh, 11 days to Ram Mandir Prant Pratishta. And uh, now if we look at the 30,000 crores of projects which will be gifted to Maharashtra, then he'll be visiting a couple of temples there. He'll be seeking the divine blessings. Because, and of course, the bridge, which is a big uh, moment for there, the people are lining up to see the Prime Minister because now Prime Minister is more of a national hero. He's the real icon. People don't see him as a political leader. He is like a, a brand ambassador for Hindutva. He is a brand ambassador for Sanatan Dharma. A lot of people are not liking it and a lot of people are very irked with that. You know, this moment uh, nowadays, for the next 11 days, it, it's, it's an era. Right? It will now never ever happen in Indian history again. So he is lucky. He is chosen by the God to be part of this era. And he has himself said he is very emotional. So the people are resonating to that emotion. People are respecting that emotion. They don't seem just as a political leader or the prime minister of the country. They seem as something who is like a karma yogi and in his tenure and in his uh, governance and in his government, this dream has come true. You see, how many people have given their life for the Ram Mandir and they could never see this day? They could never see this day. And how many people died thinking that one day we will have the Ram Mandir coming up? This was a dream come true. Even if you go 10, 15 years back, you could not even think or dream a Ram Mandir will ever come up. Now, this is happening and the dedication of the Prime Minister towards nation building, this relentless work, this everyday inauguration, this everyday new development, 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 this politics of competitive development is what has what has to be credited to Prime Minister Modi because he changed the discourse. Even if you look at vibrant Gujarat, so now, you know, competitive federalism in, in all the states where states are competing with each other, who will get more investment, where who will have more Vande Bharat, where more bridges will be inaugurated. Now, we are talking of the biggest sea bridge in India. I mean, gone are those days of, you know, Mandal Rajniti and, you know, all that. Now, it is the Rajniti of development. It is, the, uh, it is the politics of Dharma and development. So, we have Dharma on one side, which is Ram Mandir, you know, Ram Raj, And we have the politics of development, wherein every day, you know, what I like is every day you see Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, is inaugurating or dedicating projects to nation. And irrespective, it's a BJP rule or state, it's not a BJP rule state. It does not matter when it comes to national, you know, capacity building, national development. Prime Minister is fair and equal to all. And obviously the states where there's a double engine uh, Sarkar, they get more benefited because the implementation becomes easier. There is no bureaucratic headers at the state level at all. This is what the people should appreciate. And in this, you know, occasion of Ram Janam Bhumi and Prag Pratishtha happening 11 days, I think they, the only thing which is on the hearts and minds of people Literally 1.4 billion Indians and the Rambaks living across the world is Bhagwan Shri Ram. I don't think there is anything else when we, uh, you know, when we think of today. We are seeing Prime Minister Modi, yes. Ram Janabhumi and Ayodhya as synonyms today. That, that is from my heart today. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.